I'm ready to leave. Hello. See you leaving us for a bit, eh? Well, they're up in the north entrance. Better get up there. We'll miss you, sunshine. I don't trust you. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't trust this guy. <laughs> I don't know what it is. That's, that's the kind of motherfucker out here who's, whose name's most likely either Tiny or Cheryl. <laughs> I don't know what it is. So this is it. My little soldier's really leaving. He might not be back. Hope you said your goodbyes. I, I didn't mean to... Not put that. It just, I put that but, but. Oh, you ha you have to hit the D-pad to select things. They don't let you do it with the stick. All right, time for a farewell. One day you're just a little boy. The next you're getting ready to leave us. I only wish your grandfather could see what a fine young man you've become. Ah, yes. No. The fate that awaits you may well be one beyond anything we simple country folk can imagine. <laughs> oh no. I'm sorry. I just realized the dude behind him with the drastic bowl cut over the large head. Right next to the child that's the exact same. I can't handle that. I can't. I can't. But you must allow us to offer what little assistance we can. Take... Take this. A map. Must be a small map. A horse! Hey man, are you ever like May this magnificent steed, the pride of cobblestone, lighten your burden and speed you on your way. I mean, I didn't know I was not letting you, you know, talk to me or it was a surprise with friends now. That's that's how my that's how my horse You'll talks occasionally. Find the easily enough. Just head north out of the village and follow your nose. Hey man, you know you're not as not as heavy as I you do. Know. You travel safely now. Oh, you're such a good boy, such a good boy. You make us proud out there. Well, what are you doing? I'm not. I'm, I'm a dude, not a dog. <laughs> like, it is. You gonna scratch me on the ears? Like, what are you doing? I love this dog. I'm just looking at the dog while she talks, assuming that's how the dog talks. <laughs> he's just he's just such a bro. It's like, hey man, I'm a dog. It's like my favorite dog I've ever seen in the game. He's like, hey man. I think it's just a Kira Toriyama looking ass dog just really does it. Horses are, incre are an incredibly convenient way to cover large amounts of ground in very little time, but you'll sometimes have to enter areas that can only be explored on foot. Don't dispavo! A ring on one of those many summoning bells around uh, Erdria will soon bring your fateful friend galloping back. Can you not do it on Tuesdays? I gotta like go to I gotta play cards and stuff. Uh, we'll, we'll see what we can work out. Yeah, I can't do it on Tuesdays. Horse? Yeah? It is Tuesday. While we're doing this. Okay, you just... Alright, fine. <laughs> this feels pretty good. In terms of how I control a horse, satisfying. It's not as good as Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm joking. I couldn't give less. I could not give less of a shit about that game. Ah, beautiful. Not gonna lie, in terms of like large open areas, this is really nailing. It's nailing a visual style that I didn't initially expect. Hold on, can I gallop into. Yes! Oh, come fly! You can't stand a chance. I can just gallop into all of you. That slime doesn't stand a chance. You're done. Get him. Ha! Sorry, that just feels really good. Hold on. Drive by. Drive by. Boom. I said boom. <laughs> I'm a big fan of that. I'm I'm a huge fan of that. 
Uh, we'll continue heading toward Heliodor in the next episode. Where me and my horse will go on a great journey. Hmm, it's just like... It's just, hold on, there we go. The pledge to the Patreon, there's a button that's gonna come up. Alright, we're leaving now. I can respect a horse that wants to shill. <laughs> Last time, uh, we began our journey to head to the capital to learn about us being the reincarnation of a legendary hero. This is my horse. Here's going with the horse. And, uh, our goal seems to be that right there. A little bit of, uh, environment. Environment, like, calling your shot. I was gonna say environmental storyteller, but it's just like, yo, look at the thing in the back. That's where you go, and we're gonna have to go there eventually, because that's like the glowy special tree thing that was in the intro. And in the key art. And what are you? I'll never know. Seems we're here. Alright, I gotta go, horse. Okay, man, you should make sure to give me like some grass or something. There's, there's grass like on the, on the ground. You know, like specialty hemp or something. It's, it's... My horse just wants hemp. I'm gonna name. I'm gonna name my horse Gerald. <laughs> Good old Gerald. He's an okay replacement for that dog. I miss my horse. Should probably hit the bell sometime. Get my horse. Hold on. Hey man, it's new it's been, it's been a few videos, it's just like, it's just like, I know I'm not the dog, but like, be a bit more hospitable. Hey man, we, we got places to go. Alright, uh, you just gonna leave after that man? It's a little unnecessary to bring me up, but thanks for the cameo. I need to talk to the one person who won't disappear from my life, because... Unfortunately, everyone in the village is gone. Oh my god, is the dog okay? We'll have to worry about something else. Yeah, man, I know it was rough. I didn't want to say anything about it because I was all mad at the time. You didn't really use me for a couple episodes, but I think we're cool now. We're alright. We're, we're okay, Gerald. Thank you, man. I'm, ha I'm having some real talk with Gerald right now. The realest of talk. Like a real, real man-to-horse conversation. I'm glad there's a jug. Three-sided rock. These are falls. Though, so wouldn't they mark them with, like, a purple or a pink icon? Hey, man, it's kind of hard to get through this, man. I know it's very difficult for us to careen here, but, you know, I, I'd like to do at least a little bit of investigation. <laughs> here it is. It's a triangle. At least I assume it's this way. Yeah, this is we gotta go that way. Ah, thank you, horse. This is Gerald. Oh, have you truly accepted your name? Yeah. What is this robot? What is this robot? An exoskeleton! <laughs> this is a very good video game. This is a very good video game. People are gonna be like, Man, I'm so excited for KZ to react to, well to monsters that have existed for fucking 30 years. But this is my first time, guys. I'm just gonna assume that most of these are are classic things that people have always been exposed to, but for me, I'm like, dude, exoskeleton. What a fucking ride this game is right now. Fire! No, the horse's butt! Huh? Yeah. It's a good thing it wasn't my horse, I'd be so upset. Is that a deer?
What is this world? Where there's just real ass animals. I mean, I should say that, but there were horses. But, oh man, if they were your Kira Toriyama horses. If only. Alright, so for this, I'm just gonna head back and assume that I just, I did what they needed. Hey, horse! Hey, man, what are you doing? You, just, you know, I didn't expect to see you here so You know I can't go past this, buddy. Did you just... Uh... I'm, I'm sorry, Gerald. We have to go. Oh, you, you called me. You, you called me, and, and you just go... <laughs> go get Taco Bell, Gerald. Okay. <laughs> You see, the horse was about, the horse was close to tears, but when I said, get yourself some Taco Bell, he was down with it. Now, it was, it was tough, guys, because he was distraught, because Taco Bell's nacho fries promotion ended, so no longer could he get some fries. And it was just tearing him up inside. And he was full, filled with regret. This was the horse I'm talking about, and not me. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> but thankfully, we got him through it. He's going over there. He's probably getting himself a steak soft taco. Maybe a cinnamon twist. And a drink. And it's not at all what I want, what I might, might do after this recording session. Is that a horse, Peacock? My name's Silvano, by the way. One of the other riders had a little whoopsie, so I had to step in at the last minute. I'm very excited about this guy. I'm a big fan already. Ah, he runs along with us, so he, he'll just be aiding of his own, of his own free will. Hold on, this is important. Gerald! Hey man, it was a good race we did, man. We fucked him up. I'm, I know, Gerald. We worked really hard, man. Been through quite a bit. Ha <laughs> ha, you fools! Thought you could blend in? I don't think so. You fucking ruined him, man. I'm level 87. You're. You're level 87? Yeah. Alright. I'm not. This is so satisfying. Yeah, sometimes you just wanna fucking fuck them up, man. Look at these wizards. These wizards ain't shit, man. I'm gonna... Look at this crab. Oh, it didn't die. A crabber dabber do! <laughs> crabber dabber do! That's cute how they set off early. Ahem. A Gerald! Hey man, did you have a good sleep, man? Yeah, it was alright. Alright, well I believe this is a good a time as any to uh, use Zoom. And head back to Galopolis ourselves. Hey man, what's going on? Where did you go? Where did you go? It's fine, Gerald. I'm in the loading screen. Oh, okay. I'll see you later. But I wanted to head back over here. And say hello to Gerald! Hey, man. You got him. Kind of a feminine man. Was, you know. Thinking he might swing but swing the other way. Man. Are you talking about Silvando, Gerald? Yeah, I think he's kind of like... Gay. Like, probably. You think that's kind of a problem? No. Not at all. In fact, I think he's a... He is a fun lad who likes to have a good time. Yeah, too good a time. Now, are you trying... <laughs> Gerald? Yeah? Are you... Are you the very first horse bigot? I don't think I should... 
take you anywhere for a bit. I need some time. Alright. Alright, Gerald. Take some time. Read a book. Broaden your horizons. Fuck you. Ha! <laughs> Well, all right. You know, sometimes, guys, it, it, it's hard to... We have friends. We have family. We have a lot of people who just don't understand things. Some people are a bit less progressive than others. Gerald is one of them. But I hope that through our journey... <laughs> through our journey, maybe he can learn to be loving. Because people can change. Maybe horses can as well. Hey everybody, do you think that that might be the worst bit I'm ever gonna run in a Let's Play video? Of KZ pretends the horse from Dragon Quest hates homosexuals? I think that might be the worst bit of all time. But hey... Hey, it'll end up being the best bit of all time, because of clearly I'm going to allow this story to have a happy ending. This one's gonna be like, yeah, the glue factory, and I'm like, Jesus. <sighs> I'm just having fun, alright? I'm just having fun. And I hope you are too. Hmm. I guess, I guess we should get ready to end the end of this session. We have been going for a little bit. And I have many things to do today. However! Feel we should... We should head to the... We should head this way. There's someone I need to see. Gerald. We need to talk. Yeah, I think we do. Gerald, I... I heard some things from a... For, from a bee in full plate armor. <laughs> About, uh... Your, your your feelings and how you are as a as a horse is true I'm um, yeah so in your attempts because you were afraid that you know other horses wouldn't it wouldn't accept you you decided to just try to try to make me think you were the opposite. Yeah, I'm... I swing that way with my hoof. You know I'll accept you, right? You will? I will, man. Thank you. You're my horse. I'm your horse. I can't, I can't put this on the internet. This is the dumbest thing I've ever done. <laughs> That's it, we're done, all right. Appar apparently, we just had an entire character development story arc between me and the horse. But I think what we need to take away from this is that you, you need to subscribe, hit like, and pledge to my Patreon in the end card. We're done. We'll fucking, we'll fucking plot later. Fucking see you next time, bye. <laughs> it's been a few days. I'm still emotionally recovering from the saga of Gerald, which apparently has gotten rave reviews. We may, we may think about getting book, like getting book deals on this, all right? We'll think about it. We'll think about it, we'll see what we can do. Is there no bell? Oh, there's a bell all the way over there, but it's not worth running back just to get Gerald. I oh, know, I'm busy. Alright, man. You know, I can't always expect, uh, expect my comrades to be active, you know. Can't always be at your beck and call. You know, I need to get to a bell eventually. 
It's been it's been like a couple of episodes since I talked to uh since I talked to Gerald. What? Oh, up here. There we go. It's perfect. And a quest. He would have. Oh, we gotta we gotta check this first. Oh man, there's like a racer dude there. Well, I think uh, the best course of action at this point is to get on my horse. Hey, Gerald. Gerald. Hey, man. Uh, how you doing? It's been, it's been a few days, but you know. Ah, oh, that's good. Let's ride out a little bit. <clears throat> that didn't work. <laughs> it's alright. I'll deal with what the fuck is that tornado man? I didn't wear pants, so I gotta spin so I don't get arrested. Are they dead? I can't see. Uh, they seem to know, so it's okay. That was pretty cool. Yeah, man. I like to think you won because I did the damage when we hit the thing. Man, yeah, but you, you can't, like, do the things I do. Like, you know, like, lightning and, uh, that thing where I make my signal appear in the sky and cause lightning. Yeah, but I can clop. Like, clopping? Don't look that up. I agree. I agree with Gerald. Don't look up clopping. Not a not a good idea. Do you like him? Um, like like Eric more than me? Well, I mean, uh, why why why'd you stop? Answer the question. You both have good qualities. I mean, you both have. A good texture to your voice. Yeah. And, uh... He's got that good poison move, which really makes him an asset. You have a wonderful, wonderful hair follicles. Yes, I do, yeah. And, um... Well, I can't get around uh, as fast if I was with him. Yeah, look at this. Look, look, look at where we're going. I'm like, yeah, you make a good point. Um, I, I think the lesson to be learned here is that everyone has their value. I need them just as much as I need you. That's debatable. I mean, I mean, you got other parties. Hey, I'm gonna get you a bagel. All right, we can go. Are you being facetious with me, Gerald? Because you're just running directly in here. You know I don't like bagels. You you want one of those like Burger King croissant witches where it's like a croissant, but they put like the like the like the bacon and the egg and the cheese. No egg. Good, good. And that's like egg McMuffins. You just you take the egg out of it. Yeah. Are you ready to like stop running against this fucking statue then? No, not really. I'll see you later, Gerald. Yeah, that, that seems fair. <laughs> well, while he eats some fucking grass and wheat, I think it's time we head on over this way. I'm about to blow a fucking gasket. I don't even know what the fucking stick does. It's part of the world tree or some shit. I'm sure it's cool. But I want it because I'm supposed to have it. I need someone to console me. Gerald, how you doing? <laughs> you mean it's just, you ever think about like, like not doing, like not doing, not doing what? This. <laughs> you know I've <laughs> I've been thinking about that too. Like I could end this. I could. Like, end my recordings for today, but, you know, sometimes you gotta get ahead. Mm, you always grinding. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thanks, Gerald. Thanks, Gerald. This is drinking, mate. Get the f move. Alright. 
I could have gotten some vision. You're, you're raising your voice a little bit, man. <laughs> Alright, Gerald, I'm, I'm gonna go kill this dragon. A slime! Wait a minute. Slurp! Eek! Who's that? Please don't hurt me, I'm not a bad slime. If you promise not to hurt me, I'll tell you something slurprising. This well goes all the way to the castle. You can ooze it to get to where those Brazia things are. Well, thank you, little slime. You know, you know, I wish I wish you were part of the team. I give you a name. Then you could just then you could hang out with Gerald. That'd be pretty good. I need a friend. See, see, everyone's down with it. You know what? We're in canon. We are gonna say that slime hangs out with Gerald. It's gonna be great. We just need to find out a name for it and get it all done. You already gave me his name. Uh, he, he did? What was it, like, uh... Like, like... Guzma or, <laughs> or something like that? No. Enrique. <laughs> Alright, so Enrique and Gerald just hanging out. Just wilding out right now. And that's just what's that's it's been decided. And now I'm fighting this fucking box with a tongue on it. It's like, I'm gonna get ya! Well, uh, I think that's enough, uh, dilly-dallying. Hey man, I'm over here. Hey, uh, just keep Enrique busy. Okay. Um. Enrique, what are you... Why are you, like, here? I... I... I goo around a lot. You goo around? Yeah. Alright. I'm, uh... I'm, I'm gonna just go in the well. Pretend this is, a uh, Golden Sun on the Game Boy Advance. I vividly remember going down a well in that. I remember that game just having such a sense of adventure and wonder and puzzles and that shit that I just explored stuff that had nothing going on, assuming there's some secret everywhere. Uh, that series is dead and Camelot has ruined part of my life. Let's keep going. At least with Kingdom Hearts, I can feel some sort of, like, completion to a story. But no, not, never Golden Sun. No, never, never. Get on. Sorry, this is our horse now. Now hold on tight. I'm sure Jared will be upset, but we must do this Excelsior! Princess, what have you become? <laughs> Douchebag's fucking alone. Alone and feel like I ah, fucking now I gotta walk. <sighs> Pretty good. Hey gang, I'm back. Check in with Gerald, see see what he's doing. Well, well, well. <laughs> What's up, Gerald? So now you need me. I don't know what you're talking about, Gerald. I, I think you may be hanging out with with uh, with Enrique a little bit too much. So I'm not the only horse. You're gonna need to stop this. I think you're gonna need to get it off me right now. Are we gonna, like, have a multi-episode arc where you're just, like, you're just mad at me because I had to ride a horse during a critical moment? No, you'll forget in the next episode. <laughs> you're right! I will, in fact, forget this bit. You're correct. So are you going to make sure to not be upset then? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Alright! I guess I guess we'll wrap up then. That's a lovely man in a pink outfit. There's our boat. Uh, there's Gerald and his friend. Who oh, no, he is. <laughs> okay. Alright, Gerald. Take care of the boat. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be a pirate. 
Excuse me? Jer- This is gonna be me and Enrique first man, we're gonna do it. Alright, you, you go be pirates. We'll be busy. Alright. Well, if he's gonna go be a pirate, I might as well do my own thing here. Let's uh, run past the transmutation circle and get out of this place. Bye, birds. I think I saw one of the birds flying in the direction of my ship. Gerald, are you watching me? I know where you are always. Yeah, you do. You're my horse. Mm -hmm. He gains more power over, over, over time. I don't know if I should be concerned or flattered. I struggled to try and... I think he said... I think he said you're not the only one who can level up. True. True enough. True enough, horse. Oh, hold on. I think he wants to... What's up, Gerald? From now on, you call me Captain G? Captain G. Because you're the pirate captain. You. Yeah. I mean, we always have to make concessions for our, for our comrades. Captain G it is. How long would you like me to continue calling you Captain G? Till the end of the episode, because you won't remember in the next one. <laughs> okay. Th that's fair, Captain G. Let's not... Let's not... This bit's bad, just drop it. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna go ahead and drop this bit now. Uh, sometimes it's a bit short-lived. You know, we, we, gotta, we gotta work this together. Let me get on the boat. I see you're back. I am back, uh, Captain G. Who? Oh shit, I forgot we weren't doing that bit anymore. Mm, come on, man. Hey, I was going through a tough fight. I could have taken the bird. You're right, you are more useful than Veronica. Oh, they're, they're killing me. They're killing me. I have no idea where to go. Oh, you gonna make me get on my fucking boat to see if I'm in the right spot? Because that's where I'm at right now. Where I'm like, I'm pretty sure they wanted me to go back to the same spot. But I'm not 100% sure, and I'm a map-obsessed bastard, so I'm about to get in my ship just to ask. Gerald, get off the boat. Okay. <laughs> Ever since he got on that boat, he's just been, been giving me lip. Horses don't have lip. I know. Everyone knows that. Do you think someone believes me when I say that horses don't have lips? <laughs> like, do you think... Do we think... Do we think that's happening here? Alright, Boneman! It's been great ha It's been great having you. Here's your right. Tell... Tell Gerald I said hi. Me and you. Gerald! Me. Yeah. We've come. You're not you're not getting really close to my mic anymore. Yeah, it's hard to do the bit though. <laughs> you know I have to agree. Yep, oh, one of our orbs is nearby. All right, Gerald. I gotta I gotta go get my plot important item. Yeah, yeah, you know, get the bush. Get the pussy? Yeah. Alright, words to live by, right? This one is uh, all the way up here. Hey man, you kinda left me back when you wanted to walk. I if you had to walk, how did you how did you get this here this fast, Gerald? It was more like a jog. Alright, jog then. 
That doesn't... Whatever, the Luminary's horse has to also be good, I guess. Have you ever just, like... Look at your hands? I do. Uh, I don't think you do. What? I mean, you're... Do, do we need to point out the obvious, Gerald? What? Gerald, you don't have hands. <laughs> I don't see what that is, dude. Alright, well, let, let me frame the question here to you. Do you ever just look at your hooves? I mean, I do. You can't. Why? You don't have hooves. I don't see what that has to do with anything. You know, maybe I shouldn't, like, shouldn't follow you every time. I mean, yeah, I'm kind of just jumping around, Gerald. We'll we're, ki we're gonna kinda keep doing this until uh, I've hit all the areas listed on this website. Good. I mean, I usually do this kind of thing off screen, but it almost feels like an unboxing video. You know what I mean? No, I don't. Like, like the reaction of like, look, I, I got the thing! This is like... But if people play, they know what's in it. I mean, that's true, but that's what a lot of unboxing videos are. I think you've just been poisoned by the concept of loot boxes and how those are always random. Yeah. Three mini medals! Whoa, that's fucked up. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming, did you, Gerald? Yeah, you don't have to be rude about it. You're right, that was... Uh, I was just excited. I'm sure you understand. Hmm. I'd like to point out that there there is a moment... OH MY GOD! Gerald, don't look! <laughs> Gerald, don't look at it! <laughs> <laughs> Go, Gerald! I'll fix it. <laughs> it's a bad time. Alright, we are safe to go to the Hex Woods. Hey, Gerald. Alright, are you still a little fucked up after the horse? No, really. Oh, okay. Whatever. <sighs> Gerald, my loyal steed. I mean, I was gonna be frozen solid for a little bit, that was kind of scary. Me. Any concern? Me. You don't. You barely speak English anymore, dude. Me, me. That's Italian. I can remember. That's Japanese. You know. You know what? No, that's more than enough. It's clear to me. I need to get off you and get someone else. Oh, whatever, man. I was just fucking with you. Face invaders. Face invaders. I'm doing it for Gerald. <laughs> That's fucked up, man. Did you see that? I know, man. It's, it's fucking crazy. That poor horse. He's getting it the worst out of anybody. We need to get a horse because this is incredibly slow. Gerald, your time has come. Has my time come? What? Gerald! It's come to my attention you've reached level 30. I... I have, yes. And thus I have leveled up as well. Gerald? Yes. Did you... Did you respect your entire character to invest it all in vocal cord power? Yes. <laughs> Gerald, please. I'm gonna have to ask you to respect. I, I just wanted this opportunity to speak clearly and concisely. I think everybody liked you just the way you were. What, what's your what's your attack value at this point? 
I don't want to talk about it. It's zero, isn't it? <sighs> Do it. <sighs> Fine. Gerald, you done? <laughs> well, at least we at least we got that handled. <laughs> Gerald, mm -hmm. did you did you just like not invest at all instead of what you had before? Mm -hmm. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, guys. We need we need. <laughs> It seems like someone's being a piece of shit today. Fix it! Hmm. Gerald. Gerald, we good? Yeah, it's alright. Hey, you're a little bit more than... but No, it will take it. Yeah, it just... That'd be easier just, like, you could actually, you know, get it. Yeah, yeah, but, th but then we'll no longer have your, your iconic just... Noise. I. Mm -hmm. See, I can do it. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Enough delays. All right, Gerald. Yeah, see you later. Gotta get myself a jumpy jump. We have quite a uh, quite a set of new dudes here. Hey, man, you having a having a good time? Contemplating death, but you know. It happens. Gerald, there's nothing up here. Yeah, there's something down there. Oh, thank you. Mm. Guess you specked into your vision a little bit. Yeah, you see the skill. Excuse me? You see the skill. Um, are you trying to tell me that you picked up a seed of skill? And didn't think to maybe fork it over. Well, you never give me yours. Yeah, yeah. There's a fucking reason behind it, my friend. I need all of them. Debatable. You know this this partnership's c continually becoming a problem. Is it? No, but I'll pretend it is. I think it's more fucked up that you're running a bit where you just change your voice lately. I mean, yeah, that that tends to happen, but I, I I feel like people liked liked the Gerald bit one time in like episode three, and I just can't leave it now, and I have to continue to escalate it. What happens when there's thirty more episodes? I don't fucking know to be honest, and that's my biggest fear. Even the fish look, even the squid looks evil. You see that shit? That's nuts. Wait, my bell. Ah, oh, please! Hey, what's up? Ha! <laughs> Gerald! Hell! Has happened. Have you been okay? Yeah, it was alright. <laughs> Some things change. Others stay the same. I don't know, it's just slightly darker. I mean... Isn't it like, isn't it like worse out? Like, look at it, it's worse. Yeah, it's just extra monsters in a slight tin. Like, monsters are pouring out of the castle and, and stuff. I just hang out near the bells. Ah, oh, yeah, that would make sense. So for you, really, all of the chaos and death, I mean... I'm the only one that can ring your bell to get you specifically out, and, um... So you're basically safe all the time, what you're saying. Yeah, pretty much. Uh... Yeah, that's, uh... Can't say I'm shocked. Apparently you always win the day, don't you? Don't you, Gerald? Yeah. Well, to get to, uh, 
The Last Bastion. Looks like The Last Bastion is just our hometown. Yes! Oh my god, our dog! He raised a dog. Gerald, I'm sorry. I have to go alone. Don't look at me like that, Gerald. They didn't make the door wide enough. What are you talking about? The door is wider than me. Well, you tried. I know. I miss out all the good shit. Let's go, dog! I'll think of you, Gerald! No, you won't. You're right! <laughs> Obsidian. Thank the heavens I have one truly faithful friend. The darkness may have dissipated, but we cannot know what toll the battle took. We must return to the last bastion and see what, if anything, remains. Hey, Gerald, what's up? Hey, man. What do you think of the other horse? No. <laughs> is, that, is that all you got for me? No, I just wouldn't let you. Oh, okay. I was saying what you think about uh, Hendrix's horse. Hey, he's like level 40. He's not that great. What level are you? 800. Gerald, the cap, I think, is a hundred. You think? It's a horse cap. A horse cap? I don't, I, I don't believe you, man. I don't know, I don't know if, uh, you're being legit with me with these things. I think you're just, I think you're bullshitting with me. Um. There are no levels for horses, are there? No. So what you're telling me is that when you spec'd skill points before, you... You, you weren't? Yes. Yeah. Gerald? This isn't even your real voice, is it? No, it's not. Gerald! Yes. You've always sounded this normal? Yes, pretty much. Then why do you do the... Hmm. Just... It seems like more fun. I've learned so much today. Alright, get off. I see you later. See you later, Gerald. Wait. Wait, hold on. What's up? I think you said. Wait. My name isn't Gerald. I should have known. Dude, you ain't gonna believe this. My horse has been lying to me for so long. Oh, I. I. I, I can't believe this! What is your name? Geraldo. Geraldo. I've had enough. <laughs> had enough of that horse. Me. No! No! Me! I need, I need time to think. We shall figure out what to do next and slowly, but surely, grab new orbs, slowly bring peace to the kingdom, and uh, get the bam band back together. And maybe I'll figure it out how I'm going to play Hendrick's uh, character here. I think that's uh, I think that's how we do. It. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. guys, I can hear my horse.
Geraldo, what you doing out there? You said you were Geraldo a, a mere a mere five minutes ago. No, there was an imposter. An imposter. You tell me I was riding a different horse? Yeah. Does that mean horses can gain levels? Yeah. I don't know what to believe anymore. What should I believe in, Gerald? You should end the episode. Okay. I think the best part of new sessions is I don't even know what happened the last time I talked to Gerald. Mm -hmm. See? I, I don't know. He, he has no information for me. So, who knows what happened. I'm sure it was good. Onward to the slopes. No, I gotta lose my dude. Ah. Goodbye, Francois. Mm -hmm. Gerald, you can't fly. I needed to do that. Mm -hmm. Gerald, you cannot jump that high. Let let's not be let's not be dishonest here. Now I'm gonna kill this bee and then fly it as well. Mm -hmm. Alright, fine. Just be upset about it. Continue to be upset. Yeah, like, look at that jump. That jump's just sad. I guess this is good if you want to go quickly. Can't say I have that much transportation that's good at getting me to a place quickly. I mean one that doesn't involve a bell! Ass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Gerald, for the uh, intro to this video. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. It's, uh... It's time for more Dragon Quest XI. I don't know why he was doing that. We have ourselves a vessel. To which we will make great use of. But more importantly, I must assemble my mighty steed. We are off! We're off! Gerald? Yeah. We're off. Okay. No, no don't get off! I, I meant let's go. Oh. What, do you not know what we're off means? You're off your fucking goop, man. <laughs> hey! Language! Come on! Hmm. Now sometimes... Sometimes the vulgarity just gets to be a little bit too much, in my opinion. Sometimes it, uh... It's just disappointing. Just disappointing. I told you you're off your fucking goop. Alright, fine. Maybe I was off my fucking goop thinking that I could fucking make it on over to the red, to the red door, okay? Are you happy now, Gerald? Hmm. Alright. Well, guess what? My my only choice now is to set sail. I slipped. Okay, Gerald. I'll see you later. Am I fired? No, no, you're all right. All right, the stallion is ready to go. I am. No, the other one. Mm. Gerald. We're heading to our destined home again. Me. I know. There's a lot of anxiety and trepidation going back there. Where are we going? Hey, we're, 
We're going where Enrique lives. Hmm. I know. It's the best. Hold on. Uh, we, we're, we're running into problems. You gotta be careful, man. You're hitting the areas where there's like no, they're like stuck. I'm, I know, man. It's rough. Sometimes the game's like, it'll let you go through a part, and then you're kind of like trapped uh, beyond the boundary, and then you have to like, even when you're going backward, they're like, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I was like, I'm trying to work with you. Oh, there's a sort cut west of Swarthrust. Oh, I see what they want. They want me to go to uh, the western one. I thought any of them will do. Would it kill you to jump, Gerald? Yeah. Really? <laughs> you, you try to tell me that you just you'll just die? Yeah. Are you telling the truth? No. What? Why are you so quick to just like, like give up on the lie? I'm a good guy. I... You got a heart of gold. I don't have a heart. How, how do you not have a heart? Kingdom Hearts. Nah, nah. I hate to shock you. How how far in are you? Mm, two. Nah, you've got so many games left, man. There's like, uh, there's 358 days over two. You got Birth by Sleep. There's side things, right? No. You see, that is a rumor crafted by the Chinese and people who have mental deficiencies. Who decided that because the video games originally were released on portable hardware, that they don't matter to the overall narrative. But in fact, they all hold weight within the narrative, but to varying degrees. Hmm. But there's like a lot of them. The new ones in like three months. I'm just saying, man, you're not going to be able to get that emotional weight and impact at the end of Kingdom Hearts 3 unless you have played the other entries. Isn't that like a little bit of gatekeeping? Not letting me just like jump in? Hey, I'm... For me, I'm not trying to gatekeep you in any way. What I'm trying to do is simply give you and arm you with the knowledge that if you play everything, then you will understand the finale better and a lot of things will have a lot more emotional weight. Oh, that seems pretty reasonable. I know! But I see a lot of people we are just like, that's unacceptable. It's like, there's too many games. Those people have always existed, Gerald. I'm, I'm gonna look up at you right now. Those people have existed for years. They've refused to play these games on portable systems. Refused. And before, it was like, it was scattered everywhere. And then, then when it was coming out on PS3, they're like, ah, whatever. I'll wait till it's on PS4. We're in the new generation. And then they put 2.8 on there. And then they're like, well, I gotta wait for the early collections. And then they were there. And then they said, well, I don't understand the titling. So then they made the all-in-one collection, and now they're saying, well, there's too many games to play. They're always looking for excuses. You're better than them, aren't you, Gerald? Yeah. That's my horse. I'd like to thank Gerald for giving me a platform to complain about people who shit on Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> thank you for coming to my TED Talk, ladies and gentlemen. You know, sometimes, man. Man, I don't understand why they expect me to play all the entries in a story to understand it. I think that's a little unrealistic. That person said while well, huffing paint. What in the fuck is going on with that boy over there? Three tails. What's this Jinchuriki motherfucker doing? A liege lizard. 
He's hold he's holding that eye they put in Keyblades in Kingdom Hearts, to be honest. We, we got some stuff going on here. Okay. Now, aside from that, I love using my I love using my channel as a platform to, you know, talk about the real issues. I think that's really great. And it's great that I have such a good friend like Gerald. Who can who could just do that for me? Where's your what? Oh, uh, checks in the mail. Alright, um... Looks like they just kind of, like, updated this area and just added new enemies. Enrique, what's up? Who's that? I'm not a bad slime. I thought, I thought he said that before. Well, oh, that... What? Oh. Uh, so, apparently, Enrique suffers from a, a memory thing. If you've seen the movie, uh, 50 First Dates with Adam Sandler. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I'll leave it at that because I don't believe in this bit very hard. As you know, bits last in the recording session. That is the longest shelf life they have. Because I'll fucking forget about them after that. Fucking in one ear, out the other. This is the kind of place where you'd expect it to like leave an echo or something like that. <laughs> Gerald, that was just you repeating something four times. <laughs> that was five. Well, I at least appreciate the sage elixirs. <laughs> Now's up the time, Gerald! I was being silent for a reason. I don't remember where exactly it is, but, uh... You know, I think I may know who does. I know uh, someone who's great at all the locations. Hello, Gerald. Mm. I will have you take full control. Take me to Octagonia. Hmm. That that sounded nothing like a horse, but hey, you do you. Well, you look at that, my horse bringing me to Octagonia. How'd you even know this was the way to go? Did you remember? No. How, how did you know then? Oh, good. You guessed. Whatever, we're, we're getting there. <laughs> it's like, ah, who gives a shit? We're getting close enough. No, oh, no, something's happening. Let us go, Gerald! The world is your oyster! Alright, Gerald, listen up. I'm sorry, they don't let you in. Don't blame me. Blame the game designers. <sighs> Hello, Gerald. That was a long load. I know, I was quite worried. But, uh, it's alright. We're, we're okay now. Yeah, yeah, more or less. So, the plan now is we've gotten... we got a good chunk of our party back. Off the top of my head, I think the only ones we haven't gotten are the... Some of our first party members. We still have, uh, Serena, the good girl. Veronica, the bad one. And Eric! The best girl. Now I'm gonna head to wherever we can get to our boat first. Wait, hold on. Mm -hmm. I got an idea. Mm -hmm. The idea is, uh, this. Mm -hmm. Oh no! <laughs> mm -hmm. Fuck me. Mm. You got too smart to it, huh? Mm -hmm. Gerald! You're not gonna believe the news. Thank you for... Thank you for everything. For what? No. What? <laughs> I have no I have no idea what that means. Whatever. Let's go. No, I was on the phone. The, you have a phone? It was Bluetooth. You got a Bluetooth telephone? How'd you afford it? Don't worry about it. Everything, man. Gets 
eats everything. I can't. I can barely hold on to my money. Ahem. What? Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Maybe. I, maybe I can't hold on to my money at least a little bit. That doesn't matter. You're done. Okay, it does matter, but I will eventually find a use for that money, and the day that happens will be a joyous one. How dare you be too strong? That was fun. How'd I end up back on my horse? Hmm. Yeah, that really does answer everything. Just a good move. You sound nothing like me. You want you want me to do my impression of you, Gerald? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. What did you think of it? None like me. Alright, fine. Everyone has their moments. Alright, Gerald. Take a break. I have to jump on this egg. Mm. <laughs> a man of many moves. Tell me I can't jump that? Call the cops. Be like, sir, they didn't let me jump. Alright, be careful. Okay, we have to be careful. I was, I was, I'm sorry, I started tunnel visioning because you know what we had going on. But the, the uh, hmm, you missed it again. Yeah, I know I missed it, Gerald. I lived it. You're like someone in in like a stream chat who goes, "You died," and I'm like, "Yeah, I know. I was there for it. I made sure not to miss it." <laughs> this is quite the. Quite the little adventure we got going on here. Well, let me do another hop. Apparently, I've done this before. Fine then. <gasps> I was scared. Burger. Was that your impression of me, Gerald? Burger. You're all the way. You're all the way down there. How, how, how can I hear you? Burger. All right, no, I gotta stop asking questions. Can't I just kill it and then, and then everything would be solved? I mean, that seems simple. We just do a big jump, but but like I land on it, and I start mounting it, and then Hendrick goes in. He does some slices. Then we get we bring in Gerald. He does a few assists. He clops him in the nuts. It'll work out. No. What? What do you mean, no? You just tell me you can't come into combat, Gerald. No, I can. But I won't. I know it's really scary, but I feel like you could totally get some stuff in. No. Monster. No. What? <laughs> Monster. Why are you on strike? Contract negotiation. For what? We are not doing contract negotiations for the next 50 episodes of this series. I don't even think we're going to have 50 more episodes. But my rates. You don't make money. That's not how this works. Maybe if this was a real AAA game. And it was trying to make you spend $800 in one go. Maybe. Maybe we could figure something out. But you're just a horse. You just came in with the package. You're the default horse. Is it all I am here? No. I'm just exaggerating. So you find... You. So will you come fight Tatsunaga with me? No. What if I said, pretty please? No. Alright. Fucking unions. Well, at the very least, 
Let's go confront her about this absolutely horrible thing she's doing in the form of, oh, she didn't kill the thing. Take a long look around Arborian, try to find out if you have re- No, I believe it! Aw, oh, shit! I went back in time and forgot to tell Gerald! Hmm? Gerald, I have some news. Yeah, man, it's... Rough to say, but I have traveled back in time. Oh. Am I... Did I die? Thankfully, no. Why are you going back in time? Gerald, are you assuming that I only care about you? Yeah. You died. Oh, okay, good. You know, I finally got one comment of someone's like, Man, it's really, really cringy how you're doing this bit. One, it's not a bit. I'm talking to my horse named Gerald. Number two, 99% of the audience, every single time, they're like, Man, I love this shit. Never stop. So that's why I'm doing it. Unfortunately, majority rule. Also, I'm recording ahead, so the majority rule that was active as of, like, episode 35. So you're doomed. <laughs> It's unfortunate, but, you know, this, these kind of things happen. I was gonna stop the bit early on, but, you know, positive reception gives you sequels that you don't expect. It's my sword! You've decided! Who's the luminary here? Is it you? No, no. Oh, you assisted me. Oh, I could get by without your magic burst. Once a wanderer, always a wanderer. Come back home safe. And you. Yeah. Hey, get out of there! <laughs> Fucking dog. I warned you, buddy. I didn't think he'd go for the nuts, Gerald. Let's well, fucking dead. Yes, leave. 